What is up everybody, welcome back to another video. In this video, we're doing another prospect breakdown. It's been a second since we've been on this, but we have another one, should be exciting. Let's get into it. All right, everybody, so in this video, we're talking about Jerry Judy, the wide receiver for Alabama. Now, Jerry Judy is one of the top prospects in the entire nation. Now, you may be thinking to yourself, I don't think the Lions should draft a wide receiver. Okay, look, I told y'all the reason we're doing this is because I'm pretty much going to go through every single prospect. Literally every single prospect at some point. This is going to be a really long series, but we have a long time to the offseason, so why not? Basically, Jerry Judy, like I said, one of the top prospects. He's looked at as the best wide receiver coming out of the you know, he will be coming out of the draft. Junior at Alabama, he's put up some really good stats, and he has a lot of pros, and he's just looked at as a premier athlete that can do it all. That's going to be one of the best skill position players you could draft this season. Obviously, a team that needs a wide receiver, he's going to be the guy that you want to look at. Last year, it was, oh, snap, I forgot who his name was. Look, I, I was going, and then I forgot his name. Okay, who was it? It was the guy for the Seahawks. I can't think of his name. The big dude, I... DK Metcalf. DK Metcalf was that guy last year. Now it is Jerry Judy that everybody is looking at. So I decided to really break down and look at what everybody had to say about him and take my own look at him. Now, the reason for drafting him for the Lions would be one, they would have probably a top five pick this season. And, uh, you know, if other guys are gone that you might want to take like Chase Young. I don't know. Some people talk about quarterback. Maybe AJ Espen Epinesa goes already before your pick. And maybe for some reason you don't want to go linebacker, which I think we should. You want to go wide receiver. And I think one big reason would be if Marvin Jones is not here in 2020. Now, I think he will be. But if for some reason, maybe you trade him or something along those lines happens. Right now, he is on IR. They just put him on there. So maybe you decide, hey, you know what? We're going to trade away Marvin Jones. Try to get something in return. He's aging. I don't know. That's what we're going to try to do. Well, then you're kind of missing out on your number two wide receiver. You still have Kenny Galladay, who's a young crazy talented player but then after that you have guys like Danny Mandola who's older you would have guys like Marvin Hall who yes he played well but he also wasn't like that go-to guy like he wasn't very focused on by defense and then Travis Fulgham who we're finally going to see this week so you really don't have a number two if that's the case I don't think that would be the case but it definitely could be now six foot one 192 pounds He's, he's insane. This dude's incredible. And it wasn't like he was starting putting up his big numbers this season. It was actually last season where I would say he had a better season overall. Last season, 68 receptions, 1,315 yards. 68 for 1,315 yards. That's really good. Now, you got to keep in mind, Alabama does play in the SEC. They play a lot of talent. He played 15 games last season. Crazy numbers. So far this year in 2019, you know, in 12 games played, the 12 games that he played, 71 receptions, 959 yards, and nine touchdowns. So he's definitely had two really good seasons. As we know, Alabama last year was in the college football playoff and stuff like that, so that's how the numbers work out. But this year, having another really good season, which is important. You want to make sure that your stats are pretty consistent. If you take a complete drop-off, then there might be reason for concern, but there really hasn't been. Actually, I think he just became even more known across the NFL world. It's like, hey, this dude's one of the top wide receivers out there. And if you want a top wide receiver, a big weapon that, you know, maybe that outstanding and a guy that you can keep around for a while, you definitely can. But the thing with wide receivers are usually you can find these guys a little bit later in the draft. But he is crazy talented, okay? Those are his numbers. I was looking at some of the best teams he played this year. Auburn, he had a okay game, five receptions, 26 yards, just a solid game. LSU, pretty good game, five receptions, 71 yards, and a touchdown. So that's pretty good. Uh, his his two biggest games of the year were Duke, where Duke, we had 10 receptions, which actually was his only game this season with 10 receptions. I don't know if that concerns you at all or not. 10 receptions, 137 yards, and a touchdown. And that versus New Mexico, he went off eight receptions, over 100 yards receiving, and three touchdowns. So he's had some big games. But the thing I like about him, he seems pretty consistent. He had a couple of games where it looked like he had like two receptions, which isn't very good. But he never had a game where it was zero. And, you know, at the same time, he also never had like tons of games that were 10. He only had one game that was double digit reception. So he's still pretty consistent, even against the good teams. He still put up basically five receptions every single time they played them and he was definitely the the guy that the defense was focusing on right now you know like the lions they have two really good wide receivers marvin jones kenny galladay alabama their guy is jerry judy and everybody focuses on him for sure first top 10 25 teams this year he's averaging 10.5 yards per reception he also only has 140 receiving yards 14 receptions and a touchdown this hasn't played a lot of top 20 25 challenges now we know they will play michigan next so that's going to be a huge opportunity for us to get to see if he does play there also is a chance that he doesn't play against michigan which would be kind of unfortunate not for michigan because they don't want him to play but for us that are trying to 
trying to learn about him a little bit. So let's hop right into the pros and cons about Jerry Judy, this talented wide receiver. Obviously, like I said, he's one of the top prospects coming out of this draft. He's a top wide receiver in a lot of people's minds, and he can do everything. He can run all the routes. He's smart. He knows how to run everything. You can throw him into a situation in the NFL where it's like, hey, we're going to run this route, and he would run it to perfection. He also can play the slot and the outside wide receiver position, which to me is very important, obviously. I think if the Lions brought him in, he would play outside. Now he's six foot one. He could play the slot. be pretty solid slot wide receiver, which is a. But I think we're going with slot. He for me would be more of an outside type of guy to go across from Kenny G again if Marvin Jones would be here but if he is here I don't see any reason we would draft this kind of guy but can play both and that's important I mean no matter who drafts and the versatility is really important there to have a guy that can play inside and outside move around he's going to be comfortable it's not like you're just throwing him in there because you have to he's actually going to be comfortable there and he's going to succeed which is huge talented players like this, he, they find a way to make it work, okay? So that's very important. He's also a very consistent guy. Like I said, he's very consistent as a receiver. Um, you catch the ball, he's going to be consistent with his running. He's going to get up the field. He makes a lot of rack plays like in Madden, the rack catch. That's what he looks like. He can do that, okay? He can catch it. He can go. He's very good in small spaces. You don't give him a lot of space. He can still find a way to come up with the ball. And he also has a very wide radius, okay? You know, you can throw it pretty much within arm's length, which is actually one of his cons, arm's length, since he doesn't have a super long, you know, arm thingy. He doesn't have a super long, uh, what do I call it? Arm, arm longer wingspan. He doesn't have a super long wingspan, but he's also not super tall, so it makes sense. Six foot one. I mean, it's tall to me, but I mean, too, an NFL player, not really. But he doesn't have a huge wingspan, but he still can catch everything within that radius because his hands are phenomenal. Like I said, this dude is just crazy talented. I mean, if you want the best wide receiver, he's pretty much sitting right here. Um, he also is a good run blocker. Now this, I start it. Okay, I put a little start. This is the most important thing for me, if I'm being honest here. If I was to draft a guy like Jerry Judy, this is the biggest reason I'd probably draft him. The simple fact, well, not the biggest reason, but it's a big reason that I actually would want him. He can run block with the best of the wide receivers. That is crazy important. If you guys have watched our offense this year, which I'm sure all of you guys have, Marvin Jones with us, he's done a lot of things where it's come down to run blocking, putting them in motion, putting them behind the line, whatever. If you try to run to the outside, having the wide receivers block, screens. Wide receivers must block for the lines. We see it all the time. And Marvin Jones has done a heck of a job of that. He's a very good wide blocking wide receiver. And Jerry Judy is as well, which I think is huge because if you lack at that, you know, then you're kind of just a guy that you can throw to. Maybe he's one of those guys you can't have out there during a play that's made to go that way off of a run or a screen. But then that's kind of the tip of your hat. Like, hey, here's what we're doing. So very important that he can still uh, run block as well. That's very important. He's also a very shifty player. Like I said, this dude's super aware. He's very quick. He's one of the fastest wide receivers coming out of this draft. People look at him as an insane speedster as well. Now, one thing with the shiftiness is some people, I don't know why, but everybody's talking about his juke moves. They're all saying like, hey, he's got that average juke. It slows him down sometimes. Sometimes he jukes too much. Like he's too shifty, almost as if when he catches it, he doesn't always just go straight up field and get the yards. Sometimes he tries to be a little too cute and creative and it doesn't really work. But I'm gonna be honest, a lot of times, I'll take that because then, you know, he can break those plays. If you're that fast, if you're that electric, if you're that electrifying, if you're that athletic, sometimes you can make those moves and make a huge play out of it. So I'd be down with that as long as, you know, on easy downs when you're just like a third and five, he's not dancing around. Like, go get the first. So that may be something you have to break him of if you use your wide receiver. Like I said, he's not super powerful. Only 192 pounds, not a super powerful wide receiver. And that hurts him when it comes to man-to-man -man coverage that is with the press. Not man-to-man -man specifically, but when you press him. Because as we know, a lot of people like to chuck their wide receivers. A lot of those press uh, cornerbacks, they love to do that kind of thing. Uh, it doesn't happen as much on the outside. It happens more on the slot type of deal because, you know, it's quick slant stuff like that. You really have to be right up on him. So outside doesn't always happen. Some cornerbacks do like to get Get ups on him like maybe old still kind of style uh we know Darius Slay he doesn't really get up on his wide receivers very often he gives you a pretty good cushion so he would be fine in that situation but I guess if he's going against a guy that's going to try to jam him at the line he could struggle because he's not super powerful okay I guess I'll say that he's not super powerful that that he'll work on that okay if he needs to with an NFL team he'll do conditioning he'll get that thing right but at the same time, I don't see a lot of wide receivers or cornerbacks, I mean, that press up on the wide receivers very often. So I think this is something that wouldn't be too big of a concern, but there are cornerbacks out there that do like to get up right on you. Jalen Ramsey may be one of those guys, especially if he knows you're not very good against it, he'll kind of try to put you in that bad situation. So overall, Jerry Judy, heck of a player, heck of a wide receiver. I don't see us drafting him. I don't think it makes tons of sense unless for some reason something happens to Marvin Jones. But otherwise, I don't see a point of drafting him. But he's crazy and talented. Anybody needs a wide receiver, this is your guy. He's consistent. He's great. He can block. I like him. I like what I saw from him. The pros and cons look good. 
And uh, yeah, there's stuff to work on, but he's a college player. There's always gonna be stuff to work on, stuff to improve on. That's what happens. But he's super talented, and I think he is gonna be worth the hype. We'll see what happens. Don't see him being a Detroit Lion, but I thought I'd bring it to you. If you guys wanna see him as Lion, let me know in the comments below. If not, I understand. Let me hear that in the comments below as well. Thank you, Pat, for watching. Also, before I get out of here, Friday Night Live tonight at eight will be a little bit shorter of an episode than usual, okay? We didn't have a long week. I set this up probably Wednesday, and that's what, like a day or two for me to even put anything together. I had to edit it, everything and set it up, so it's not gonna be as long as the other episodes I hope they are in the future. So keep that in mind, okay? It's gonna be a little bit of a shorter one, but hope you guys are 8 p.m. Eastern time tonight, Friday, for Friday Night Live. So I'll see you guys there. Thank you, Pat, for watching, and I'm out.